Hi clients and friends, Mike Brady here. This week I want to talk about the credit crisis of 2008. Is it really repeating itself in 2010? Uh, a lot of uh, pundits are saying that the Greece and the European issues are going to come right over here to the United States. It very well could. Um, however, the indicators aren't necessarily telling us that at this point at this time. Um, first, I want to give you some words of advice. Um, you've got to know what's inside your portfolio. What's your stock exposure? What are your bonds? Are they high quality bonds, low quality bonds? Have you done an x-ray intersection of your whole portfolio to find out if you're overexposed to one stock or another? Um, I just think that that's really important because the market's been all over the place. Up, down, mainly down. And uh, now is the time to, well, actually a month ago was a better time to do it, but, but right now you need to know, because you don't want to be um, surprised going forward that, wow, I didn't realize I had this much, much exposure. If you're my client, you know it because I've been talking to you about it. If you're not my client, um, do it on your own portfolio or give me a call and I'm happy to help out as well. Uh, let's just talk about the credit crisis. There were various indicators that you can look at that, um, Kind of leading into the end of 2008, we're an early warning, uh, you know, the canary in the mind. What are they telling us right now? I'm going to throw up on the screen here, pop. Uh, the first one is going to be the LIBOR rate. Uh, that's the London Interbank overnight rate. It's gone up a little bit, but still very low. It's important because trillions of um, financial products worldwide including adjustable rate mortgages, are tied to the LIBOR. It's still at uh, 0.50, we call it 50 basis points, 50 bips, uh, incredibly low. Um, it's, it's gone up just a little bit, but uh, nothing, nothing that's indicating this huge collapse. The second thing that I'm going to pop up there is the uh, TED spread. The TED is a... Um, the, the, the difference between the internet, inner bank rate for three-month loans and the three-month treasury. Um, it is an indication of how much perceived risk there is, uh, credit risk in particular, of uh, the market. So the Treasury is a risk-free, it's perceived to be a risk-free, and so how much more of a premium do you have? The um, less comfortable you are, the more of a premium you require. So having a low number like that is good. You can see where it's spiked up there from before, and um, but now it's uh, still, still relatively low. It's gone up just a little bit, but once again, nothing um, that's indicating uh, you know the abyss is right before us. The last thing is the uh, right up there on the screen is the uh, corporate index. Um, it's the performance of um, corporate debt, U.S. dollar denominated investment grade, and um, once again, it's the perceived. Um, uh, how can I say it? The perceived. Well, a high number means that you're uh, requiring more from your corporate debt as a return um, because uh, you know you've got great concerns about it. So it's good that it's a low number, it's gone up just a little bit, um, but, but nothing like it was leading into 2008. Uh, these are just three indicators that um, you know, kind of lead me to believe that the credit crisis is not here at this point. Uh, we'll continue to watch this. I'll continue to, uh, to talk with you about it in, uh, in, in coming video. So that's it for this week. Uh, give me a call if you want to talk about it some more. 303-747-6455. My name is Mike Brady. Generosity Wealth Management is my firm. I'm a registered rep with QA3 Financial. You have a uh, great week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.